researchers find new life under an ice shell. It's amazing. This is a strange one, but when you find out what these scientists did and what these folks do... A group of researchers from New Zealand recently uncovered a hidden underwater ecosystem tucked away 500 meters beneath the ice, nestled in a majestic cavern beneath the expansive Antarctic ice shelf. Picture a cathedral-like space beneath the ice, where an entirely new ecosystem thrives. In this hidden realm, swarms of small shrimp-like creatures, called amphipods, have made their home. What makes this discovery even more intriguing is that it's located in a river that stretches for hundreds of kilometers from the edge of the Ross Ice Shelf. The depths of Antarctica have revealed a mesmerizing and previously unknown habitat. And in this video, you're going to take a look at that along many other amazing things you can't believe. From a blood-like waterfall to transparent fish, these discoveries will blow your mind. Fossils from Mars Antarctica receives an unusually high number of meteorites, providing scientists a window into the vast cosmos. Over 50,000 extraterrestrial samples have been collected so far. While most originate from distant corners of the galaxy, one special meteorite likely comes from much closer to home. Discovered in 1984, the Allen Hills 84,000 and one meteorite has fueled debate about potential evidence of ancient Martian life. Inside this space rock, researchers identified structures resembling fossilized microorganisms. If verified, it would challenge the long-held assumption that Mars never supported life, even in primitive form. The discussion continues as Antarctica unveils more meteorites, intriguing the scientific community. As the ice slowly recedes, it exposes meteorites that crashed to Earth illns ago. Scientists diligently examine this space debris, seeking clues about our planet's early history. A mysterious hole. In 2017, a massive hole dubbed Polina by scientists opened in the Southern Ocean, large enough to accommodate the entire country of Ireland. Spanning over 18,000 miles, it left a mark on the Antarctic ice sheet. Peculiarly, this hole has appeared before, lastly 42 years prior, and quickly closed up. This phenomenon occurs when warmer seawater pushes up and melts the ice faster than normal. While some posit theories like marine mammals creating breathing spaces, Helena's vast scale makes that unlikely. As our planet warms, such events may become more frequent in the coming decades. These incidents can calve massive icebergs from glaciers and the continental shelf, flooding the ocean with freshwater, disastrous for marine ecosystems. Helena's sudden re-emergence highlights the rapid deterioration of Antarctica, its long-term impacts remain unclear as scientists cannot agree on a single trigger for these gaping craters, leaving them mysterious for now. Striked Icebergs Norwegian sailor Oyvind Tangen first observed a remarkable sight in Antarctica's waters, striped icebergs. These colossal chunks of ice exhibit colorful bands resembling giant marbles floating in the ocean. Earthy hues like brown, green, blue, and yellow adorn their surfaces, some even displaying pitch black stripes starkly contrasting the icy blue and white backdrop. Experts explain the distinct origins of each pigment. The common blue stripes form when water freezes quickly, preventing tiny bubbles. Green comes from alga trapped inside, while brown and yellow originate from frozen sediment. As the glacial sheet incrementally slides along the seabed, accumulating dirt and particles, it preserves each layer in perfect arrangement, crafting a mesmerizing spectacle for passing ships. Transparent Ice Fish In the frigid Antarctic waters dwells a unique, nearly transparent fish. From its skin and flesh to blood cells, this species lacks pigmentation, appearing as ghostly flashes in the dim seascape. The Antarctic ice fish is one example of the mysterious life forms that stubbornly withstand the harsh environment against the arts. Their existence challenges long-held scientific assumptions. For instance, this fish is the only vertebrate without red blood cells. 
Typically, the protein hemoglobin gives blood its color while carrying oxygen. Remarkably, ice fish survive minus this vital molecule. Their watery plasma is specially adapted to absorb oxygen in extreme cold. However, as oceans warm, this evolutionary strategy may backfire, threatening the species' future. Phytoplankton Large part of Antarctica's land and surrounding oceans remain uncharted territory. Scientists previously assumed the extreme cold could only sustain minimal life, mainly phytoplankton in the deepest ocean. However, they were astonished to discover thriving phytoplankton blooms within the sea ice itself. This defied expectations as these organisms typically require sunlight to thrive. In polar regions, little light penetrates the extensive ice lid, blanketing the surface. The icy ocean reflects most solar rays, leaving scant energy to support phytoplankton. Or so we presumed. This finding compelled scientists to re-evaluate phytoplankton biology, realizing they can survive on just 1% of surface light. It also transformed our concept of Antarctic sea ice as an impassable barrier. Upon locating the blooms, researchers detected gaps and fissures in the ice, enabling a modicum of solar penetration. Ice that sings. When analyzing over two years of audio from Antarctica's Ross Ice Shelf, scientists expected to hear wind and subtle ocean life. However, they discovered an eerie melody emerging from the ice itself. Described as both mournful yet beautiful, the sound evokes the ice's poignant splendor. This slow, harmonic tune is inaudible to humans, requiring special equipment to detect its ultra-low 5 Hz frequency. The ice's sorrowful song stems from wind causing vibrations as it blows across the rugged surface. Scientists refer to this as a seismic signal, now using it to monitor ice movements. Shifting wind patterns and tectonics alter the tune's frequencies, offering clues into the shelf's stability. Thus, the ice song acts as an early warning system, signaling potential collapse events. Such disasters grow likelier as climate change accelerates. So this discovery could prove instrumental in preventing future calamities. From the age of dinosaurs, 75 million years ago, Antarctica's now perpetually frozen landscape endured relentless wildfires. Volcanic eruptions regularly ignited the coniferous forests blanketing the continent back then. Evidence of these ancient infernos still exists today. This discovery in 2015 kicked off a scientific race to confirm the theory. In 2021, Brazilian paleobotanist Dr. Jocelyn Manfroy led the first team to prove Antarctica's fiery history unveiling a monumental ancient climate shift spanning millions of years. Antarctica has active volcanoes even now, like Mount Erebus. However, clues suggest they erupted far more vigorously during the Cretaceous and beyond. This heightened activity may link to Antarctica, separating from the former supercontinent Gondwana, as tectonic shifts likely disturbed magma chambers underground. The findings challenge existing ideas about Antarctica's ancient lush forests, indicating eruptions and fires partly shaped the terrain, possibly making prehistoric trees more sparse than previously thought. Mount Erebus One might not link the icy expanses of Antarctica with fiery volcanoes, yet Antarctica is home to Mount Erebus, the southernmost active volcano on Earth. This long-dormant volcano sprang to life 1.3 million years ago, when magma began flowing to the surface. In the 1970s, scientists uncovered signs that a major eruption could be imminent. At Erebus's summit lies a crater enclosing an enormous lava lake, which has fueled eruptions since at least the 19th century. This ancient lake of molten rock constitutes one of the planet's longest continually active lava lakes, forming the eruptive hotspot that made Erebus famous. If a full-blown eruption occurs, rivers of red-hot lava could ravage miles of surrounding ice sheet. However, Erebus has already claimed hundreds of lives, 
In 1979, an Auckland sightseeing plane inexplicably plunged straight into the fiery lake, instantly killing all 257 people aboard. Though conditions were clear, the pilot flew directly into the crater. Investigators determined the plane's navigation malfunctioned, yet the reason behind the failure remains unknown. New Life Discovery During the summer of 2022, a team of New Zealand scientists embarked on a fascinating Antarctic expedition. By drilling into the Larsen Ice Shelf, they made an astonishing discovery. A whole thriving ecosystem existing 1,400 feet under the ice. Although Antarctica seems harsh and inhospitable, life can flourish in unexpected places. The researchers never anticipated finding signs of life so deep. Their initial clue was a subsurface river. To explore this hidden realm, they used a powerful hose spraying boiling water to penetrate the ice. A camera attached to the hose finally reached a pitch black cavern. Initially confused by the unclear footage, the scientists eventually realized they were observing swarms of shrimp-like creatures gracefully gliding through the water. These tiny organisms appeared to dance in the murky liquid, displaying impressive agility given their size. The awestruck scientists realized these mysterious creatures likely represented one part of a vast, unexplored ecosystem concealed below the ice. Waterfall of Blood In 1911, Australian geologist Thomas Griffith Taylor stumbled upon an extraordinary waterfall during his exploration of Antarctica. Situated in the McMurdo Dry Valley of East Antarctica, the liquid flowing down the chasm bore a striking resemblance to blood. Upon closer examination, scientists discovered that the substance was actually water tinged with red, but the peculiar color remained unexplained. Some thought it might be due to a large population of alga, but there was no evidence to support this idea. The water originated from Taylor Glacier, an extremely cold environment where even microorganisms struggle to survive. Antarctica's blood-red waterfall became a valuable resource for astrobiologists, helping them explore the possibility of life surviving in harsh and frigid conditions similar to those on Mars and Europa. Despite being extensively studied, the mysterious scarlet outflow remained an unsolved puzzle for decades. It wasn't until 2017 that the truth came to light. Researchers at the University of Alaska confirmed that the red color resulted from high concentrations of iron in brine saltwater. When this iron came into contact with oxygen, it oxidized, giving the entire waterfall its distinctive color. If you enjoyed this type of content, check out our other amazing videos as well. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on to watch more videos like this one.